Yo, what is up you guys? JMB back in the house. You know what it is. I am back with a new YouTube reaction video. Okay, so uh, this is a shout out to a awesome, uh, an awesome request right now. Uh, oh, De uh, Dennis Ed Hemovic. Dennis he Ed Hemovic. I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry, dude. But thank you so much for this for this YouTube request. I can't wait to do this right now. This is going to be so awesome. Okay, so I'm going to do a reaction called SMG4 versus SML Mario. This, this looks really cool. This looks really cool. I haven't seen this kind of video or channel before, but I am familiar with SMG4. Uh, I, remember, I remember Hobo Bros. And, and all do, uh, doing like this really awesome like thing, like SMG4 channel, all this stuff. But anyways, but I haven't seen these kind of like animation fights in a while, so... It'd be kind of cool. I do have my I, outside the screen right now. I do have some snacks, popcorn, some assorted chocolates. I got some tamales uh, right here, but they're too hot right now. So I'm just so I'm just so excited. I hope you guys had a good Christmas and looking forward to New Year 2020. I know I am. I have so much to do, so many new challenges, and it's just basically a lot to do with all of you and. Just be gotta be happy for a new future, you know. And I'll shrink myself down so we can get started. I'll go a little smaller, just in case. Cartoon Fight Club. What's up, everyone? Cool. Welcome to yet another episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind. And if you're new to the series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. For tonight's battle, we have a plumber war between SMG4 and Super Mario Logan Mario. Now, we did have this thing planned for a while, but uploading it today on October 7th was no accident. If there are any SMG4 fans out there, you should know that today is the War of the Who Fat do Italians. I want to win? We thought it'd be cool hmm. to have our own little War of Fat Italians, except SMG4 has a much different foe, and that's Super Mario Logan Mario. So with all that in mind, let's not waste any time and introduce Cartoon Fight Club's next round of fighters. Super Mario Glitchy 4 comes from the machinimous Ooh, realm SMG4. of Super Mario 64. This guy looks like Mario, but trust me, they are nothing alike. Unlike Mario, SMG4 wears a blue cap, blue undergarments, mm -hmm. and white overalls. SMG4 hates spaghetti and prefers rice and chicken, whereas Mario is the number two spaghetti lover in the world, second to Game <laughs> Luigi and Luigi. SMG4 hates going to school, whereas Mario himself has about a half dozen educational games. Also, don't get confused with SMG4, SMG4 Mario, Super Mario, Mario, and Malio. These are all completely different characters. Yeah, SMG4 true. is Super Mario Glitchy. SMG4 Mario is the Mario from the SMG4 mission in the universe. Super Mario is Nintendo's canon Mario. Mario is a Sanic ripoff. And Malio is Ouija's brother. Speaking of Ouija, SMG4 actually survived the almighty Ouija death stare before. Sure, it had some short-term effects, changing his face for a short amount of time, but he mm -hmm. ultimately was okay and pretty much resistant to it. This is a great starting point to showcase the sheer power that SMG4 possesses. Let me remind you just how powerful the Ouija death stare is. Ouija was able to one-shot Goku, Sonic, Mario, Kirby, Mega Man, Tails Doll, and many more. In fact, Ouija was able to beat Base Swarm Sonic, and it took the revival of Super Sonic with the Chaos Doritos to bring it back no to No way. Only really the Illuminati was able to phase a Ouija death stare as if it was nothing. I'm not putting SMG4 on the same durability level as the Illuminati, since he did have short-term effects, but the fact that the effects were only short-term does give me reason to believe that he's pretty close to a power level similar to that of the Illuminati. There's more evidence of this with his ability to not only break the fourth wall, but also enter the real world. To break out of the realm of the internet takes some serious power. Also, as seen in War of Fat Italians 2015, we've seen SMG4 and SMG4 Mario able to keep up and 
and punch Sonic. SMG4 can easily scale to SMG4 Mario, and for SMG4 Mario to be fast enough to land attacks on Sonic would make SMG4 massively faster than light. SMG4 can also scale to SMG4 Waluigi, who survived an explosive launch of infinite meters, once again proving SMG4's super impressive durability. Now, this guy does have some weaknesses. He's clearly damaged by Justin Bieber, Jonas Brothers, and <laughs> SMG4 is not excused by these rats. True. Also, he's not the brightest guy around. If anything, he can be seen sometimes as sort of an imbecile. Overall, SMG4 is an extremely powerful machinima hero who can survive Luigi stairs and is fast enough to keep up with Sanic. Oh no. Super Mario Logan Mario originates from the Super Mario Height 8 channel. inches, weight 5 SMG4 ounces. Mario started off as a simple plumber going on adventures with his brother Luigi to save Princess Peach and many other things you'd expect Mario to do. Spoiler hmm. alert, but fast forward a few years later, things quickly take crazy turns that you might never expect, such as meeting never-before-seen characters like Black Yoshi, and fast forward even further to the present day, SML Mario is more of a family man, or at least he tries to be a family man. He and his partner, surprisingly not Peach, but Rosalina, are responsible in taking care of their son, Jeffy. Jeffy, to put it nicely, isn't the smartest egg in town and needs a lot of effort to raise correctly. However, Jeffy is extremely powerful and has put Mario through a pretty rigid workload. In terms of ability, don't underestimate him just for being a plush. He is fast enough to dodge bullets, making him at least twice the speed of sound. He can fly in a super wing form, travel through television, was skilled enough to break out of prison, took beatings from Donkey Kong, and survived constant punches from a professional boxer. His magic marker can double as a knife, and it has a self-destruct mode, which could come in handy. He still keeps his day self -destruct job. Self-destruct mode? Nintendo, cool ball. He is a very successful entrepreneur, but that also proves that as SML Mario is more so of an actor who plays a video game character, not the actual video game character itself. This means we can't scale SML Mario to the actual Mario of the Nintendo universe, since SML Mario is self-aware that he is in the real world and that his games are fictional. This makes the Nintendo universe and the SML universe two different things. That's not to say that he's just a normal plush, he certainly has amazing abilities, but he's also not able to directly scale to the actual Mario. With that in mind, going back to the time when he dodged the bullet, he was clearly scared of being shot to begin with, which might imply that he probably wouldn't be able to survive bullet attacks if those hits landed. Overall, SML Mario is a very active family man who does a pretty moderate job trying to keep Jeffy in check. He has been through plenty of adventures, but after all, he is a plush species, which does bear limitations. And now, let's set ourselves a circumstance. This battle will take place within the internet multiverse as both characters are internet entities, and this battle will have no preparation. Ooh. With all this in mind, let the battle begin. Damn, who's gonna win? Um, I think I'm gonna put my, I think I'm gonna put my money on SMG4. I'm just too much of a fan of him. SMG4, let's go, let's do this. I'm just gonna put the slaughter. He's animated. Mamma mia. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, get him, get him. Oh! 
Oh, oh no, not the fight, not the flower. Hang in there, SMT. Dang, this is a really epic fight, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> oh man, Tanuki suit. <laughs> That was awesome. If you enjoyed that animation, it took quite some effort to put together. Special thanks to Gabriel M for putting together the main battle sequence. I handled Oh, I almost dropped my food. The first 40 seconds, and special thanks to Creepswitch for gathering all the facts for both characters mm. to help us settle this debate. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe to my new channel, Rewind Grumble, because I have a brand new series coming to that channel that's going to be way better than Cartoon Fight Club. And stay tuned as we're about to dive into the post analysis. I'll definitely subscribe after this. This is epic. No offense to Super Mario Logan, but if SML Mario were to fight SMG4 in a battle like this, SMG4 would win with relative ease. This is a massive stomp in SMG4's favor, so expect a super short post analysis. Sonic, he's the fastest thing alive. When it comes to speed, SMG4 is fast enough to keep up with Sanic. SML Mario is fast enough to dodge bullets, which is pretty fast, but nowhere near as fast as SMG4 keeping up with Sanic, mm -hmm. the same Sanic who can travel trillions of times at the speed of light. SML Mario is strong enough to lift Mama Luigi and still fly at a consistent speed, but SMG4 has done some far more impressive things. SMG4 can easily scale to SMG4 Mario and SMG3 who are all on par with surviving the black hole that was created in the shoot to the observatory in the sky upload. This easily gives SMG4 at least solar system levels of strength, being able to withstand the sucking force that a black hole can produce. You got the touch. In other words, he's godlike almost. You got the power. 
SMG4 can not only scale to that black hole, but more impressively can scale to SMG4 Mario, surviving a blast from SMG4 Kirby, who is far more powerful than the black hole itself, easily giving SMG4 far greater than Solar System Plus durability. We can't also forget about the time he survived a Ouija death stare. SML Mario, while he can survive boxing rounds, nothing really in his adventures, have showcased the levels of sheer randomness that the SMG4 universe has put SMG4 through. <laughs> Intelligence is the one and only category where SML Mario actually holds a significant edge in. He is very responsible and smart since he is an entrepreneur and he's pretty good at taking some levels of responsibility for taking care of Jeffy. It's not easy to take care of Jeffy, so you have to give him credit where credit is due. SMG4, on the other hand, can easily be considered as an imbecile. Now, while he lacks intelligence, his experience advantage far outpaces SML Mario in terms of variety. In terms of actual numbers, the adventures they've both been through, it's pretty even. But SMG4 Mario has been on a wider variety of experiences. Most of SML's experiences are more family-based around Jeffy. Most of SMG4's experience are based around complete randomness and destruction that his universe puts him through. Now, I'm not saying that SML Mario hasn't gone through some crazy adventures without Jeffy. He certainly has. But when you compare them to the stuff that SMG4 has done, you can start to see who has slightly more of a normal lifestyle. In a vacuum, neither are normal. They both have wacky adventures. Mm -hmm. When you put in context, it's clear to say that SMG4 is definitely far more random. Although this battle is quite a massive stomp, both characters are very unique and well thought out as characters. But that has nothing to do with power levels and who would win in a fight. SMG4 can easily scale to Ouija and in many ways comes from a universe that is full of complete chaos and memory. Whereas SML Mario is far more down to earth, which when it comes down to who would win in a fight on this magnitude, it's going to make it a challenge for SML Mario to really put up a competitive effort against someone as random as SMG4. Making the winner of this battle, SMG4. SMG4. Now if you want to see a two-on-two -two rematch with... Oh my gosh, that was like so freaking awesome. Again, thank, yeah, thank you, Dennis, for requesting this. This was totally like epic. I freaking love that. I freaking love SMG41. I'll definitely subscribe to these guys. And I hope you guys just uh, subscribe to me too. Comment down below what, well, what other reaction videos and YouTube challenges you guys want me to do next time. Be sure, be sure to like, share, and yes, please subscribe because I want to do so much more in the upcoming 2020 and many years to come. Okay, I see you there. Jay of Beats out.